uh, I was going to say thank you very much. I mean, that's as a science journalist, um, my question is, through your career and your writing and your acting, you've inspired so many people to enter the sciences. How do you balance science with science fiction? They're both the same. Uh, a a, a uh, astrophysicist looking out there is thinking in terms of science fiction. He sees a planet go around and a, and a star dim slightly so he knows that there's a planet. Uh, he's saying, oh, is that a planet in the M, whatever, the M12, is it a, whatever our planet is, uh, is that possible that it, it's got enough, it's far enough away from us, that, that heat and it's got water and it's got, you know, and it, our Earth is five billion years old, the universe is 15 billion years old roughly. What happened in, for 10 billion years? If our Earth evolved in five billion years, what was evolving? Did something other in the five, in the, in the other 10 billion years? I know it's supposed to be hot and everything's got, I understand all that. And then when you calculate all the mathematical calculations, we all know what I'm talking about, that there's got to be life burgeoning in every corner of the universe. You just know it. It's just impossible not to be. And Do you have an opinion as to why we haven't found it? Just is it technology, yeah. space, because space. of distance? The distance. As you know, the distance is so enormous. The, the, the speed of light can't get you there. Uh, so, yes. But because there is something so intrinsic about life and its niche everywhere that the thing that we don't see, the dark matter that we don't see, has got to have some life in it. It's got, it's got, to, it's got to be elements of life and dark matter, dark energy. There's got to be life in it. It's just, it's cyclical. Everything is the same. It all works in the same, in the same manner. Anyway, the, the mystery of science fiction is what I'm talking about. Science and science fiction are essentially the same. Thank you very much. Last question. I was going to say, I really enjoyed this as well as the captains last year. Uh, How wonderful. This is just totally <laughs> Can you talk about the difference between, because this is, I mean, it deals with literally life and death. Yes. I, I, I really didn't understand the making of a documentary that, you, like you, uh, journalists discover a story and go after a story, and you're three quarters of the way through the story, your, your discovery, when you realize what the story is, and you wish you could go back to the other the other three quarters, but you have only the next quarter to go on, because you can't go back, so you screwed up the story, because if you only knew, I, I, I didn't fully grasp that until the captain. Then I grasped that in the making of this, and I now know that I've got to be on guard, because I'm going to find out stuff that I don't know, so I've got to hold, you know, i got to do the, the research. I, it's, it's, it, it's a learning process that I'm so excited about. It's telling a story, only it's visual. And I'm discovering, you're seeing me. What I think is the key to what I'm doing is to see me discover what it is I'm trying to tell you.